the tax bills in violation of due process have been invalid from the very beginning. The Tai Chi Man tax case originated from the unlawful indictment of Prosecutor Quan Ren Ho, who transferred the case to the National Taxation Bureau, NTB, for taxation. The NTB knew that in the indictment of the prosecutor claimed the money in question was proceeds of fraud, but he also claimed the same money as tuition income from a crane school. His claims were clearly contradictory. The NTB issued the tax bills before the criminal court determined the nature of the income. The NTB imposed taxes and heavy penalties simply based on their indictment without fulfilling its duty to investigate the matter. This seriously violated due process of law. Did the NTB complete its investigation? The criminal case was still ongoing, and the NTB had already sent out the tax bills. That violated due process. The dispositions in violation of due process were unlawful. I've studied the Tai Chi Minh tax case for close to two years. I've written an article about the Tai Chi Minh tax case. I don't think I've seen more abuse of the right of due process in any situation than I have seen in the Tai Chi Minh tax case. It is not due process for the Ministry of Education to determine that Tai Chi Minh is not a cram school and for prosecutors and tax authorities to disregard that determination. It is not due process for the NTB to issue tax bills and to continue to issue tax bills based on allegations of an indictment that have been thrown out in three separate criminal trials. It is not due process to have the interagency group get together from all of the different departments of Taiwan to finally address the persecution of Tai Chi Minh and agree on a process for doing that through a survey and then falsify the results of that survey. That is not due process. And it is not due process for the Taipei High Administrative Court and the Supreme Administrative Court to rule in favor in Tai Chi Minh and then do what? Send it back to the same individuals and authority that issued the tax bills in the first place and collected bonuses for those tax bills. It is not due process to be caught on this treadmill of remand by the administrative courts back to the Ministry of Finance and back again and this never-ending treadmill where individuals at the ministry or any other tax officials can reissue the same bills time and time again and causing taxpayers time, money, and concern for decades. I think that a 20-year ordeal is a violation of human rights. Justice delayed is justice denied. And to delay justice for 20 years and to still not have it as we're sitting here today is, in my mind, a denial of justice. And the thing that perplexes and, uh, and even uh, disturbs me is the fact that that justice has been denied and delayed by just a few individuals. It is appalling to me that those few individuals could hijack an entire government. On July 13, 2007, the Criminal Division of the Supreme Court found Dr. Holm and his co-defendants not guilty of fraud, tax invasion, or violation of the Tax Collection Act. The Supreme Court also determined that the red envelopes to Dr. Holm were gifts from Dizi and were tax-free income under Article 4, subparagraph 17 of the Income Tax Act. The group procurement of uniforms and other items through mutual assistance among the Dizi was not for profit sale and hence not a taxable event. When deciding the first trial of the Tai Chi Minh case, I emphasized respect of human dignity, freedom of religions or belief, and freedom of thought. 
I think these values should be honored in tax law as well. The first, second, and third trials all rule the nature of the money in question as gifts, then it should not be a tax as tuition for a cramp school. Because he thinks this is a respect for the master, it is a kind of gift. After the third instance of our court, we discussed in detail where the indictment is unacceptable. If the tax authority uses this indictment as the basis for taxation, I think it is questionable. According to the decision issued by the criminal court of the judicial system, the nature of the red envelopes given to the shifu was determined to be gifts rather than income. Therefore, there is no income tax issue. The administrative agency has no reason to not evolve the facts determined in a criminal decision. You can go to the Control Yuan's website and see that I have listed seven corrections with respect to the NTB's handling of the Taijiman case. For each, the tax bureau's response was, Oh, we made a mistake. I told the finance minister in 2011, I believe this case should be closed. The Taijiman case of injustice was instigated by the prosecutor's office to divert the public's attention from two unsolved political murder cases. In the Taijiman case, the charges of fraud and tax evasion were contradictory to each other. The defendant were found not guilty of fraud, tax evasion, or violation of the Tax Collection Act by the Supreme Court, and the state compensation for unjust detention was awarded. In 2007, the third instance court decision concluded that the red envelopes given by the deeds to Dr. Hong were gifts and thus tax-free under Article 4, subparagraph 17 of the Income Tax Act. It was all clearly stated, but the NTP taxed Tai Chi Men as a crime school and imposed taxes on the tax-free income. The NTP clearly violated the tax law. According to our tax law, gift tax is paid by the person given the gift, not by the recipient. The subject and object of taxation and the applicable law were all wrong. The original judgment on a criminal case must be annulled when it involves these kinds of errors. The administrative sanctions must be revoked as they should not have existed. The NTB taxed the tax-free gifts as Dr. Hong's income. The NTB also levied sales tax on Dr. and Mrs. Hong for the group procurement among the dizi, which was not for profit sale and had nothing to do with Mr. and Mrs. Hong. The NTB has imposed taxes on the wrong party and on non-taxable events. Its tax dispositions involve an error of fact and an error of law. Therefore, the tax bills have been invalid from the very beginning.